Hey, how are you going? And welcome to the channel. Uh, at this point, I'm not sure how this video is going to end. Um, I normally film the intro as one of the very last things I do. Uh, but this time, we're doing it first. Uh, anyway, so the, uh, the mission for today... Uh, now, because I've got so much stuff to do of my own, it's very rare, if ever, I will do a job for someone else. I just don't have the time. Um, <clears throat> but in this case, uh, the gentleman, he's a very nice bloke, and I just, yeah, I couldn't say no. Um, <clears throat> for a few reasons. <clears throat> um, but anyway, what we're doing, um, we've got here some brake drums um, ooh, off a very old Ford D-Series. I think this one's from the 60s, could be wrong. Um, now, the brake shops will not touch them. They won't try and machine them or do anything crazy like that uh, for reasons I'm not sure. Uh, that Well, they, I was told because they've got heat spots in them, hard spots, too hard to machine and it busts the tips. And that's true, that does happen. Um, another reason why they may have said no is because the wall is too thin. There is a limit as to how much you can machine these. Um, He's having some issues with the brakes grabbing, which kind of suggests these are out of round. Uh, so the plan is, um, I'm just going to chuck them in the lathe and just take a very light skim and just see if we can clean them up. Um, I did, <laughs> I did have a talk with the guy, uh, and I did tell him that you know when you're machining these sorts of things, um, you've got to leave these drums bolted to the hub, which is over there. The reason being, when you re-bolt these back up, it actually warps the drum. So they've all got to be assembled and then you machine them. Something got lost in the translation and he pulled them all apart and sent the drums down by themselves. Uh, this has been going on oh, since last year, actually. I think we started this conversation. Uh, but anyway, um, I have the hubs there. The plan is I'm just going to buff this face up here because that's a, a datum, a reference edge for, uh, for setting it up in the lathe. So I'm just going to buff this, reassemble the hubs onto it, and then we'll look at putting it in the lathe and taking a skim. Okay, so I've got the drums, or that face there, at least buffed. That's nice and smooth. Um, with drums, there is a maximum machining limit like you keep machining that it gets thinner and thinner um, and I suspect just looking at this ridge in here that's possibly more the reason why the brake shops won't do it is because it's too thin already it's been machined out too much but anyway we're just going to take a light skim um, that's his decision if he wants to run it like that okay so it's now the next morning um, it's it's a rainy old day outside, which works beautifully for me to be inside the shed working on the lathe. So that suits very well, happy with that. Uh, anyway, I've gone over and I've just uh, got the wire brush out and I've cleaned up this face here. Um, that was a bit wet and had bloody surface rust on it from uh, sitting out last night. Next step, just bolt her up. through the centre to clamp this, or not clamp, but sort of hold the brake drum up against the chuck. Um, and that way I can use this outer bearing to true it up, make sure it's running concentric before I machine the, uh, the brake drum. Um, <clears throat> I just tried before with just putting a washer inside there and it kind of fell off centre and it wouldn't work, so I've just quickly machined up a little plug that should 
to fit in the centre and hold it concentric. Okay, I've put some spaces in there to uh, move this out. I don't know if you can see the, uh, the wheel studs there. So I'm focusing very close, like without those spaces, the wheel studs hit. And I'm not comfortable that they are uh, evenly spaced. Now, the frustrating thing is, you can see that all the wheel studs are all missing, except for this guy. For some reason, that's a longer stud. Only by a couple of millimetres, but if you look at the gap there, and the gap there, it's clearly different. It is kicking the thing off centre. So, I'm just going to have to go for slightly thicker spaces again, if I can find some somewhere. Okie dokie, this took a bit of fluffing about. I've got two spaces in there, two in there. That gap looks a lot more even. All the studs are away from the face of the chuck. And I've trued it up off the bearing. And we've got about 0 0.01 of run out. If you can feel that in your brake pedal, I'll be impressed. Now just out of curiosity, I am going to put the, um, the dial gauge on the actual drum and see how much run out is on the drum. Um, they were claiming the uh, drums were like shuddering, elliptical. Um, and again, I kind of suspect, because they've machined it out so much, it's actually too weak, too thin to hold its shape. I could be wrong, um, but I think that's a reasonably plausible scenario. So it's lunchtime and I'm starving. Um, I've just taken the first cup and there's just that tiny bit there that kind of missed. Um, everything else cleaned up reasonably well. Hopefully you're not getting giddy watching this. Uh, that was, that was point. 0.1 of a millimetre cut. Um, I'm thinking another 0.05 millimetre cut, and that'll finish that because that's only just missing just that little, that tiny bit inside there. Like I say, after lunch I will reconfirm its squareness and concentricity, and if that's all good, then that is just warpage in the drum. Concentricity and squareness, and it all seemed fine. Another 0.05 millimeter cut. Um, what's 0.05? Got to be two thou or one thou or something. Uh, and they cleaned it up. Good as gold. Now it's just a matter of doing the other side.
so there we go that was a uh, pretty short video this week um, I kind of kept it short on purpose um, uh, my brother explained to me that my machining videos aren't quite as interesting as some of the other stuff I do and I kind of get it you know it's sort of like you know if you're an accountant or something you know might be interesting to do but to watch not so much so anyway I hope you enjoyed it I uh, hope you got something out of it um, not having a dig at my brother who's an accountant um, but anyway uh, that's it I hope you enjoyed thanks like subscribe uh, comment all that good stuff and I will see you next time see ya